Video 2 from the series Mechanical Repairs from High Tech Circuits or Low Tech doesn't matter much. I only want to give some ideas and advices about uh, small repairs, micro repairs in fact. Here you see how I made uh, that uh, metal clip to the camera. It was mounted with a tiny screw, really tiny. And I always have salvaged during my life a lot of screws from all kinds of instruments, electronic devices, etc. etc. Cheap Chinese lanterns, etc. And for instance, in the Chinese lanterns, you find very good screws that can be used for repairs. For instance this one. Tiny screw. And also from photo cameras. And here this screw here is from photo cameras. Anyway, um, what I also wanted to show here is how good polyester will bond to other materials. Polyester putty with hardener. Here you see for instance a transformer that I've covered here with plaster mixed with polyester resin and hardener. And the reason is that uh, this transformer here has very small electrodes and they can easily break. So to keep give this transformer to make it usable for, for hobby uh, applications where uh, sometimes things get rough. I've soldered here to the uh, pins from the transformer wires and then covered it all with polyester resin. That works very good. You can see some cracking here inside. I don't know where that came from but anyway it's good enough. Also uh, about the bonding from polyester resin. It bonds to steel, aluminum but not to all plastics. And here you see some plastics um, to which it bonds and does not bond. This is for instance PVC cloth and of course it bonds because it's PVC but this is movable and of course this will quickly break down when you move that piece of cloth. So uh, not usable to make a good connection with polyester resin. Also here this type of plastic it's on top of the box. It was made not to bond to polyester resin. Of course you have to mix it here etc etc. This by the way is PVC tube. It will surely bond very properly. It is hard tough PVC polyvinyl chloride and it bonds very properly. So this is PVC and this is also PVC. Here it bonds and here it doesn't bond. It breaks. You can also do very um, small repairs to transformers. I've made it in the past, done that in the past many times. These transformers have tiny wires that often break. They are soldered here, these cheap transformers inside. When you move the, the wiring too much it breaks. So be careful. Uh, take a knife very carefully open here the isolation material then try to find the um, the copper wires from the primary side they are often very thin and then uh, solder a wire again to it and after that it is a quite critical operation measure it so measure whether you he uh, measure here uh, a certain uh, resistance then you can be sure that you have made good connections and then um, add polyester resin with hardener and make it here quite a big lump and that will save your transformer uh, after approximately five minutes or so uh, the polyester resin is uh, very tough and hard and 
all the wiring is mounted properly. And measure again, of course, whether you have a DC ohms resistance in such a transformer. In this case on the primary. On the secondary, no problem. Um, uh, sorry, this is the primary and that's the secondary, but the whole principle is the same. Uh, on the secondary, no problem. The wiring is often, often thick, so uh, it will not break uh, very quickly. The wiring from these small transformers uh, is tiny. It's like ape hair and even uh, more thin. So, quite a critical operation, but you can save such a transformer with the help of polyester resin and some soldering work, um, a magnifying glass, always necessary to look at these tiny connections inside such a transformer. And anyway, it works. That's my um, experience. Wish you luck.